when he was here, I asked him what size of belt. He told me 32. I had to make it, you know, about the same size as him. He's five. 5'11", I think. So that's how tall this old boy would be if he's standing up. And uh, belt size about the same. Uh, but, well, like his neckerchief, you know. That was kind of hard to come up with. The necktie is an old radiator fan. It's the I most recent project in Jim Powers' three or four years of turning junk, mostly car parts, into art. I had the ideas that I never really done anything until I built this cowboy that... Uh, they purchased and put up at the Bullseye Cafe. The cowboy is still in the Bullseye Cafe, and other Powers pieces are in other gauge businesses. But the only one that's on a pedestal is the Roadrunner, marking the location of the Powers salvage yard. We were getting ready to have a marathon downtown, and uh, I was going to have a booth and buy aluminum cans and show people about recycling. And uh, So I made this gentleman sit out in front of the booth. And uh, when I did, well, we... Fixed him up where he making noise, and you could, I put a headlight, tail light on him, you know, and a lot of the kids, they had fun with it. The front yard of the Powers home is a menagerie. Well, uh, this is because you got your oil pans again. Mm -hmm. These here are fender skirts. I see. And this here will be a catalytic converter. People tell me about things, like my wife, she wanted to fish. Mm -hmm. Well, heck, I don't know what a fish looks like, hardly, you know, in detail, so... I come over and made its head, and I took it over, and she said, well, that looks like a fish, so I bring it back and put my pipe together, you know, and made her a fish. Jim Powers is quick to admit the work is not all his. It's a team effort at Powers Salvage, and the local dinosaur expert got a hand in designing the largest and heaviest creation. I kind of got done with it. I asked Bobby if that was right, yeah. and he looked it all over, and he decided that it was a pretty good job, and that made me feel good. Call it recycling, call it art, or call it junk. It makes Jim Powers happy. This is something I like. A lot of people go fishing or go play golf. I come over here and work on my junk. <laughs> on the Oklahoma Road in Gage, Charles Newcomb, Oklahoma News Report. Thank you, Charles. This morning, we've got an interesting gentleman on our program. He is a junkyard artist, and his name is Jim Powers. And Jim, we want to welcome you. Good morning, Oklahoma. All the way Hello, from Jim. Gage, America. What says he? They said he picks us up out there in Gage. I watch in Oklahoma. You, you, you watch television you out there, and you get Channel Five. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That? Now we don't want to take credit for discovering you. A lady by the name of Louise James with the Daily Oklahoman did a big story on you. Right. We saw the story, and we said, "Hey, come on up and show us some of your art." So right. Describe junkyard art for us. Well, it's. Uh... It's junk to start with. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then you turn it into art. <laughs> right. Uh, in 89, we had a marathon, the Roadrunner Marathon, and I built a Roadrunner, and I put a horn in it, headlight and tail light. Now, is this it right here? No, it's on a pedestal up in the yard back home. Okay. That's, that's your but first uh, art. It's first one. From junk. And yeah. the kids and I enjoyed it. Yeah. And, uh, well, next come the cowboy. And a guy come along and offered me more than I could turn down, so I man, somebody else likes this too, yeah. you know. I know I do. Uh -huh. And uh, this led to a hobby for me. I discovered I had a hobby. And plus, I like to recycle, you know. Yeah. I, I have a salvage yard, and uh, we're into recycling and, uh, you know, turning junk into you know, something reusable. Of course, yeah. you can't use these, but you can look at them. Yeah. yeah. Well, huh? let's take a look at some of your uh, work of art here. What, what is this, the one that we have on camera now? Well, oh, that looks like a turtle. Yeah, it's uh, made from railroad spikes and uh, third member covers. And that tail he's got a hold of is this old center punch somebody mm -hmm. threw away. And Yeah. Uh, oh, it's just something I dreamed up. The head there is a pitchfork. Oh, was part of a pitch for an oil pan at one time? No, oh, it's a uh, third member, you know, in the rear end of an automobile. It's oh, okay. cover off of Oh, it. yeah, all right. The, okay. the differential, uh, I guess, kind of. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, yeah. All right, what about end. this one that we're seeing over here? Okay, well, you know, they make a lot of them around. They call them shovel birds. Yeah. Well, I call them jimmy birds. Jimmy and, birds, uh, huh? I put a bow tie on them and a hat. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I usually... You know, just put them on an antique wheel. They got to have something to kind of stand out. Yeah. And when somebody, I give them one or they buy one or whatever the case is, I give a birth certificate with them. All right. We have a slide of, of uh, what is this, a cricket? 
A grasshopper? Well, it's, uh, everybody calls it a grasshopper, oh, okay. but it's actually a cricket hopper. Uh, oh. Well, you weren't far off then, no. Uh, <laughs> the wife, she bought a fishing lure, and it was a cricket hopper, and I said, well, let me look at it, and that gum, I, you know, I just got the thing running through my mind. I yeah. just went and built one. Yeah, the reflectors really make good eyes. And now it looks like a, a dinosaur. Yes, sir. That's uh, made from bell housings and uh, bell oil house. pans and transmissions and bumpers. and. Uh, you, are these all out in front of your yard? Well. In front of your salvage yard? Some of them are. The dinosaur is. Yeah, well, do you charge people to come in and look at, look oh, at your stuff? No. no, I had a little friend there at Gage, uh, Bobby Bonzax, his name, and he advised me on building these. Uh, you know, I didn't know how to build a dinosaur. I knew about what they looked like in the book, you know, but uh, he was my technical advisor. <laughs> oh, yeah. The oh, kids well. enjoy it. You got a good eye for it. No yeah. kidding. You uh, do a good job, and uh, let's take a quick look at these before we uh, we get out of here. Okay, those are, when I made those, they're out of a rocker arm, and... Uh, I had ants in mind. You've heard of the California raisins, haven't you? Sure. Oh, yeah. Well, them are the oaky ants. <laughs> the oaky ants. <laughs> They're hard workers. They're all different colors. You know. Uh, I've got a colony of them, you know, and I play with them. Yeah. The kids look at them. And, uh, so, I don't know. I make spiders and everything else out of them, you know. And, uh, well, keep it up. You do yeah, a good job, you do. Jim. You really do. We'd like to have you back on again sometime show us some more of your stuff. Kids, let's have a round of applause for... There he is, Jim, Jim Powers. Jim Powers, the junkyard artist. Hey, good job. Tell all the folks back engaged we said hello. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. All right, we'll be back.